everyone this is David Nguyen from Eyebrows Academy all right in previous video we already completed this side and the client was okay with it so what I want to show you is how to copy this shape over here so as you can see here the vertical line right here that we got I calibrate against her the corner of her eye this is the corner of her eye right here I'll show you real quick you see this is the corner of her eyes okay can, can you open that just open that you see the corner right here so I try to calibrate the vertical line, see how far from, from that corner of her eyes. And this is what I go over here. Okay, I would go right here. I go to this side here. And I do the vertical line, make sure that I line up this side here. Just like that, okay. And then we can check if you want to, you can check and you can do like this. You know, some people I used to do this one in the past. And then I used to use this one to measure. You know, you can double check. You know, I mean, this one is not a precise. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, that's, that's, you know, some people, but now normally I just don't draw. I don't draw the symmetry anymore. I just calibrate against the corner of her eyes. Okay. So this one here, from here to here, look good. One here look good against the corner of her eye. So that's a vertical line. So what I do, I will carry point number one across, right? I do this one here, carrying it across. And then this number four right here, I will carry it across. Okay. So how does it look? One and four. Oh, not bad. Okay, so what I will do next is I measure the length. I measure the length of the eyebrows from here to here, from point number one. Measure from one to here. Okay, so from one, this is one point one, and that's point number three. Punta unos, punta tres, right there. So one two three. Measure the length. Drop it over here. Measure the length around here. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. You see here? We have a lot of hairs on this side, right? But not much hair right here, right? Okay. So we just need to double check. We just need to double check and make sure that we don't screw up with our length. From here to here, one, two, three, this much. From here to here, one, two, three, that much. Yeah, we good. All right, so the next thing is that, you know, we just have to um, use this thing or just copy the line from one to two here, copy it over, one to two. This is not a rocket scientist, science. I mean, you just try to make sure that you measure from point A to point B. Draw all the way down like that. Okay, double check. Make sure one to two is good. And then one to three. I mean two to three. That much. Two to three. That much. Okay, I just think of something else. I will show you. Okay, and then. So as you can see here, we try to get point number two. Yeah, that's the arch. Try to get the arch from here to here, so, you know, just do something like this and try to be parallel to this line here. You see this line right here? We do the new line, parallel, across. And don't worry, we will adjust our, we will adjust our number two later. Right now, we just draw like that, okay? So after this, we only got the intersection right here I think we have to move up a little bit just like that so just visually inspection um, visually inspection I think this look good all right can can you sit up can you sit up ask your mom to sit up so we can visually check that yeah. just yeah. okay you see we can visually check you see we can visually check across from this one here, 
Two not one. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah, I'll see you when I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. okay. It should be. I think the original line that we got here is good. Okay, if you good, good, yeah, play it well. And then, I just think of some trick that I will show you. So as you can see, we mark number one and number four, right? We mark number one and number four. Okay, I'm going to put some more pencil on my string here. As you can see, we got number two. This is our number two here. You see the intersection right here, the vertical and the horizontal line right there? That's our number two. And I have shown you how to carry from one over and point four over. One to one, four to four, right? And here's a trick I just thought about. You make sure the ending, the tail end right here, make sure it's a perfect vertical line, yeah? Make sure it's a good vertical line. Why is that? Now, we apply some uh, trigonometry or geometry. You see, I show you how to measure from 1 to 2, right? 1 to 2, right? 1 to 2. And now the trick is we don't know on this vertical line where is number 3. I show you. What you do? To find out number 3 over here. Make sure that number 3 here matching over here. What you do? You just go here and measure the length from 2 to 3 first. Right? You see? 2 to 3. Right? And then you go over here. One point here you touch at number 2. And then you just go down here and make sure that this perfectly match. If you do, let's say if you move your stuff up here, you see? It's outside the line, you see? It's outside the line. Okay? If you go down here too much, let's say you go down here too much right here, you see? It's outside the line, you see? So as long as from here, the distance from 1 to 3 have to be perfectly. And that means you make sure that this point here, touch number 2, and then you, you just let this one here land on a perfect spot on that vertical line right there. And that is our number 3. You see? So mathematically, you know, when you have two vertical lines, right? This vertical line here and that vertical line right there. And if you get a fixed position and the distance between these two lines are parallel, okay? This line here and this line here, they are parallel. And then from one point here and you go, you're touching this line over here, and then you do the same thing here, two parallel lines of the same distance from two to, from this line to that line, the same distance, this line to this line, the same distance, you know, the same distance. If you just use the ruler, you know, like what we did, right? From here, and then just landing perfectly on that side, and we're good, okay? So that's our number three. So without much further explanation, I'm going to draw one, two, two. I think I will make a separate video on how to draw number three. But for now, we can live with that. Straight line from one to two. Okay. And then we also said, let's do a straight line from here to here. Okay, that's our kit, our purpose. That serves our purpose. Let me sharpen my pencil, and now I would do freehand. Okay. So I look at that side. This one, this one here, it like this point here have to be a little bit lower. Okay. Let's see, so let me draw this one darker, make it darker. Making it darker. Let's draw number two. Yeah. I'm not 
not that good at drawing, so I go slow. Okay. Oh, I just figured out how to draw number three. It just came to my mind today. So that's a bonus. Now, we can make sure, make sure that this line here is dark enough. And then we can make sure, measure the distance a little bit. From here to here, just like that. You see, it has to be lower a little bit. Okay. And then just go like that. What do you think? <laughs> Almost there, yeah? Huh? Almost there. Just a tiny bit of cleaning up, tricking, you know. Some modification. Okay. Clean this up a little bit. Smooth it out. Wow, today I know how to do number three. I just thought about how to do point. Normally, make sure that the three, point three here and point three over there line up the most typical but I think just I just think about it today and I, I think I got it oh, this looks good make sure here you see the line is not thin enough you see make sure that we need to have a very thin line make sure the line is really thin so that the shape come out when we do the uh, and make sure Make sure we always keep this terminal end point right here so that we don't go over it, okay? Just keep that line there. And the same over here. Oh, this one looks good. This one looks good. Smooth this out a little bit. Smooth this out a little bit. Just like that. Smooth this out a little bit. All right, and if you want to, if you want to be precise, if you want to be precise, measure the thickness here a little bit. At point number two, carry it over here. Yeah, they're roughly the same. So we good. This line here, this line here, you see? This part right here I don't like. This one have to curve up a tiny bit. Curve up a tiny bit right here up a tiny bit so that you know when our client sits up and walk around people look straight at her face and it would look smooth all right a little bit cleaning this up a little bit right here smooth and make sure the line is thin or at least it clean there we go. All right, here. I don't like this part right here. Thinning it a little bit. We need to be very precise here. Yeah? And then we try here a little bit. And I think, I think we're almost done. And then use a razor, remove some extra little hair here and there. All right. You see right here? Remove some hair down here. Yeah, just gentle, yeah? Remove one by one. Yeah, very gentle. Be careful, okay? Okay, good. Some right here. A lot of people do threading and blocking. I would not recommend that when you do this uh, powder brow procedure. Just slip the natural hair there, okay? Just Gently remove some that we don't, don't need. Some right here. Just remove one or two hair right here and we get one. And a few here. Just some very small hair. Okay, and this is very careful here. This is point number two. Make sure the light's straight and smooth. 
And they don't go up and down like the heel, okay? All right, so I smooth down out this one a little bit. Ta-da! Can you feel more side? Make sure they look good. They look okay? What do you think? What do you guys think? Let me remove this one extra line here. I think that's what we need. And then you can measure if you want to measure the the thickness here on both sides here if we want to. Just to be sure. Okay. Not bad, eh? Yeah. They, they fairly they fairly the same. Except that this one I just modified a tiny bit. The corner is too sharp. We don't do a lot here, but we want to be. We don't want the, you know, we don't want the corner like too much angle there. Yeah? Raise it a little bit. And again, what we need to do, we need to keep all of these marks here. Keep the, here, them here so that we know where to stop okay all of this point here okay i just keep i think that's very much it all right thank you for watching this is david Nguyen from eyebrows academy thank you and goodbye yeah